too much dancing, I guess. Too much punch, I'd say. <laughs> what is it with you and that smile? <laughs> it's you. You make me be. Well, you look pretty cute. Well, you look very fetching tonight. Fetching? Really? So tell me, when you're not at these balls, what do you like to do? I write blood and gut stories. I make extraordinary plans. I'm gonna go to Europe. So what about you? What do you do? Marmy said you're all alone in the world. No mother or father. That must be awful for you. No, no, it's not awful really. I mean, I have a cat and I have my grandfather. And, well, I suppose I have. What? Well, I was hoping to say you. Me? You don't have me. <laughs> I know I have no right. But sometimes late at night, I watch you in the attic. <laughs> Pacing back and forth like a maniac. I've never met a girl like you, or anyone at all like you. This is very nice. Such a lovely party. Music sounds so thrilling. It makes a person feel like dancing. I'm very good. No. I want to that's what we're dancing. Oh, I don't dance. Besides, I have a patch on the back of my dress. A patch? Let me see it. I know. I like it. <laughs> that's what we need tonight, and I promise you, by next summer, every girl in Concord will be wearing a patch on her dress. We could do a hundred things. Across the seven seas, I'll bet you get a camel through a needle if you take a chance on me. You're a lunatic. We could be such friends. Friends are never long. All I know is books. Books are solitary. And I'll see you every day. How you live. I was warning though, they were a middle at school for busting! Oh, you're cheating! Oh, can't find you, wait! We could live a million dreams, but only if we dare. We could go to such extremes, there's so much we could share. We'll serve the world doing all we've ever dreamed of. Oh, my God. 
love one another. But I can demand that you live in this house with respect. I hate the way I look. I hate this necktie. It <laughs> was mine! And I want something that's mine! And I took it back with that thing! <laughs> sorry. It's not your fault, though you did give birth to her. <coughs> Can't you see? She's just what you like to me. She wants to have what you have. I'll never forgive her. I need to go to bed. But I don't want to sleep. by the bridge and I got her just in time. She's careless. She's wrong. She just wanted to be with you. Everybody knows you're not supposed to skate by the bridge. Everybody knows that the ice by the bridge is dangerous. I was skating so beautifully. <laughs> you didn't want me skating in your joke. <coughs> I love your stories. I tried to write one to make up for what I did, but I couldn't think of anything to say. So I drew a picture of you with your beautiful hair. And my big mouth.
gonna die. No, Amy, he's not gonna die. I'm gonna make sure he recovers. I'll go get your thing. Sorry I'm late. I did get the money, though. Thank you, Jill. I know, I know how hard it was for you to get it. I couldn't. I walked to the town common and tried to sell, sell my stories, and when that failed, sold my hair. Joe! Oh. You're bald! I'm not bald. <laughs> but your hair was your best feature. She still looks beautiful. <laughs> Here. Here's $25.27. I threw in a few count coins I had stashed away. Now I have enough money to get to father and stay with him for as long as you need to. Thank you, Joe. You shouldn't have done this. I'm so disappointed. How? Carry almost ready, Miss Marge. Hi, Joe. You look different. <laughs> <laughs> we must hurry for my train. Come, let me hold my girls. got some dreadful news. What news? Well, with the war ending, grandfather insisted I got on with my life. So he's enrolled me to school. It's wonderful news. What's <coughs> wonderful about it? I'm leaving the best friend I've ever had. Well, I can't imagine life in Concord without you. Not seeing your sill and grin every day. I don't want you to go. <laughs> Do you remember that day we first met, when you cut down grandfather's cherished tree? Of course. Well, ever since that day, I knew we'd be magnificent together. We are magnificent. For this whole, this whole week, whole month, this entire year, I wanted to. What was that? A well, kiss. I know it was a kiss. What's got into you? Uh, here, I've saved up some of my inheritance, and um, I, I, I bought you this ring. A ring? <laughs> Stop this, Laurie. It's not funny. I want to marry you. I practice words over and over again. Marry me, Joe. Marry me. Have you gone mad? I want you to be my wife. Well, find someone else. Find some accomplished girl. I don't want an accomplished girl. I want you. Well, you can't have me. At least say so you'll think about it. There is nothing to think about. I'll never marry. <coughs> you'll marry. I won't. You just won't marry me is what you mean. But you knew me. You knew how I felt. Everybody knew how I felt. You've known all along who I am, what I want. I bear my soul to you, Laurie. Go away! Joe, oh, please. Laurie, just go. <coughs> it was he, it was he with his married me, with his ring and his married me, the nerve, the gall. This is not, this is not what it's meant to be. How could he ruin it all with those two words? I thought I knew him, but that he knew me. When did it change? What did I miss? A kiss, and I thought all along that we were meant to forge frontiers. How could I be so wrong? And I need, and I need my sisters here. If I can't share my dreams, what were they for? I thought I promised, and then we would 